just trying one more time uh, to get Dr. Bhavna online. Yes, she's here. Yeah. Hey. So sorry, uh, bad connections dropped, just dropped. Okay, no. so where were we? Hmm. The abdominal and the back muscles, the same. Yeah. Yeah, the most, uh, over, how to reactivate it, right? So yes. when you breathe out longer, when you're try, trying to draw your belly button in, you will automatically start feeling the pressure in your lower abdomen. But there are many okay. people who cannot activate that as well. So it, it needs a lot of practice for the ones who do not have exercise background. So when you're trying to draw your belly button in, if you notice simultaneously, your pelvic floor will start sucking up. Can you yeah. do that for me? I mean, just tell me you can feel yep. it. So, and when you're breathing out, pursing your lips out, yes. Now, when you're focusing on your pelvic floor, it kind of lifts up. So, we are, yeah. we are like holistically breathing the back, the front, and also your pelvic floor. I think this right. is one of the most basic exercises that I found out. I figured it out mm. with the help of Pilates as well. So, that way, you're starting with activating your body. Now, with the same okay. connection, we're trying to do other exercises. Like, you know, you add this connection and do your planks. And do your quadriped okay. exercise. Okay. So this is very so important. breathing. Breathing is an important role uh, during uh, the exercises, and how you breathe is also very yes. important, right? Absolutely. And this, so various forms of exercises has various kind of breathing techniques. But what you're yes. suggesting right now is that uh, breathe holistically and activate your core muscles even while breathing and exercising. Yes, absolutely. Right? There's no point of okay. holding your breath. Even when you're doing strength training, some people are like, mm. mm. they hold breath. So a very small uh, example or a very small, uh, uh, you know, like technique that you could do is whenever you're trying to do an activity, breathe out. Like let's okay. say I'm holding a dumbbell and I'm trying to, you know, probably take my hands forward, breathe in. So when you're trying to do the movement, breathing out activates your core and you're upright, then you can do your activities. So likewise, right. breathing, I would say, I mean, I at least personally believe that you only if you breathe it right, can you get things right. Okay. So there's a hmm. advantage of breathing as well. Now that we know that there are a lot of things going around, not the corona though, but then going around with you not being in sync with your body, anxiety, stress, a lot of panic attacks, just breathe. And it's very simple to say just breathe, honestly. But then at least breathing can probably bring a little help to your body. Of course, when it is not in your hands, please seek professional help. All right. Nice, nice. Yes. Um, also, um, though you've highlighted uh, most of the advantages and the kind of disadvantages one has when we are not, um, you know, doing exercises in tune with the core uh, but what are the kind of main advantages women can um, you know harness uh, if they do core exercises and mm -hmm. in their daily lives how does that reflect um, yes. can you share that yes so before that I would probably say what a woman goes through since my work yeah. is more towards women's health and managing chronic pain half of the problems come because of your, maybe I would say, wrong posture. Or, you know, okay. like a not the right posture, maybe. So, for the IT people, I'm taking a very common example. I shouldn't be highlighting, but then it's very common in them. So, if you, you have a poking chin. Most of the time, probably, you're looking at the computer and stuff. So, for those ladies, they will end up having pains around their shoulders, their neck. Ah. Sometimes, sometimes they get something called as, headaches, I mean, cervicogenic headaches, which is 
usually thought that it is because of the stress but is it's majorly because of your muscle stress so your okay. muscle wraps around your head as well so when you're tight okay. there you probably get pain in your head as well so that ways correcting your posture will have an indirect effect on your headaches on your thyroid levels because you are activating mm that's also the right. core even the neck every internal muscle is called the core i emphasize more about the torso core but then there is a core for your shoulder there's a core for your neck as well because they are very tiny muscles as well not just the big muscle so okay. for the core of we start like the neck exercise that you did was the core of your neck right so once we started doing that neck exercise you started feeling better that helps with your posture and then uh, doing your other exercises it helps you with, with since we are activating the core your uterus is into the, in the core so all the menopausal issues like uh, you know dysmenorrhea pain during your periods which is contributed to muscular related when they talk about back pain or leg pain can be rectified when you do your core workout and for the okay. ones who have um, overflow the blood you know that the bleeding is overflowing yes. not at the time of their periods but before that to regulate your hormone you can start mm-hmm. doing your core for pcos okay. and pcod issues you because the 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 activity or the, the uterus is not that greatly functional activating your core indirectly activates your uterus maybe that functioning helps you with regulating your estrogen progesterone or the other hormones you can normalize on your menstruation cycle right. and then in women uh, basically post pregnancy there is this very uh, unknown fact called as diastasis recti or in short okay. dr which is a splitting of their abdominal muscle which women usually okay. don't know okay okay splitting it is not a painful one because of the baby to you know like to compensate the baby the woman has to expand her belly through the process the belly accommodates and kind kind of apart, you know break apart so they fail right. to get back to neutral okay when that doesn't happen most of the women complain you know my belly is not going in i am not feeling mm. like my belly like before and most of them mm. complain after my pregnancy my body is ruined i have start getting back pain and all those things it's also because women you are doing a i mean it's a great thing the process of birthing is a great thing but i think it's more important for you to take care of your body along with the baby and it's just not the baby i think first you should ask how how is the mother doing so that yeah. process so what women, what can yeah. prevent this kind of experience uh, you know so exercise throughout the pregnancy and making those muscles stronger um, yeah. and taking it through postpartum yes so i would say for the ones who planned their pregnancy start with your core workout that way you're okay. ready for it for okay. the ones which okay. is a surprise pregnancy it's never late the first three months ideally we do not do physio or pilates okay. but from the second trimester and the third trimester we start activating the core All even right. physiologically some mothers are bound to have a split diastasis recti just like okay. you know for certain mothers stretch marks are common in the irrespective yeah. of what they do similarly it can happen to certain mothers but then with physical activity after pregnancy or after delivery you can still correct it back so that right. is an importance what happens during the pregnancy let it be but your recovery post pregnancy is very important because for sure your stamina comes down sleepless nights a lot of things going yeah. on so at that yeah. point of time i think giving some love to your body that's what i say for all the postpartum mothers sure you're spending 24 hours with the baby if they have a caregiver like beats spouse mm. or the mother in law the mother spend at least 20 minutes for your body to activate your core Hmm. so hmm. that guidance is very important so anything that you do post delivery has a greater impact 10 years later because you're right. activated so right now even post menopausal issues are very common or pre perimenopausal or pre menopausal hysterectomies that's also because you're not giving much love to the uterus and the surrounding tissues so that's another thing that to some extent if they activate their core they start feeling better all through yeah 
yeah yeah awesome awesome i think i i can go on and on with you for the entire i kind of it <laughs> <laughs> it's so interesting and uh, you know thank you so much for enlightening us also thank because you, uh, yeah. we keep uh, you know engrossed in work all the time and the yes. little bit of workout that we can do we just do it uh, but uh, definitely you know at a uh mindfulness level uh, there's a lot that we can still do and that's my yes. takeaway uh and you yes. know when i'm working out the breathing has to kind of you know Absolutely. be in sync so yes. i think that's something i i uh, need, need to practice so thank you so much dr bhavna uh, i think that was my last question and is there <laughs> anything that you would like to share uh, with the yes. own tia yes. team who um, just started out no. and yeah so in general uh, the reason why i put great interest to come on this platform was only for the fact that the more information i give to people the more better it is for them so Absolutely. i the page that you can follow the body and mind i'll be putting it right away so try logging into it and there are a couple of videos very small small videos i'm trying to make some videos and there are some live sessions like what is happening tomorrow i think you will have a better understanding of your body which is at 11 sure. am so i'll go through my page and also i will still be available for you guys if you have any queries you can always ping back to me uh and then uh, more so important uh, i would say it's more about doing it the right way you do anything and everything if you are not in sync with your body maybe you're not doing it the right way and don't right. fall for anything which is fast everything is a slow process including pain management try going slow with your body and understanding because it reaps long term benefits that is absolutely absolutely yeah. so we are going to have you soon with us again at another okay. varied aspect right uh, probably okay. have a live session with you something like that but definitely uh, thank you so much it was an amazing evening i thoroughly enjoyed and Same here. have a and i'm going to catch you tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> yeah see you tomorrow <laughs> thank you right right bye. yeah divya take care see you soon thank bye thank you bye